By now, you should have read about the pitch time music practice method in Lesson 18. If you haven't, go and read it first so you understand what this is all about. I'm going to take you through a series of exercises. You can find the same exercises in the book if you need to refer to them. As you know, there are three steps to apply to each one. First pitch, then time, and then the music. Do the exercises along with me, or pause the video after each exercise and do it for yourself. Here's exercise one. The first step is pitch. Ignore the timing and focus only on the pitches. Use no before you go to make sure you play with no mistakes. Take as long as you need to prepare each move and only make the move when you know you'll do it correctly. Use the fingering shown on the music. Here we go. The first note is middle C, played by finger one. That's my thumb. I prepare my thumb on the note and when I'm certain to play it correctly, I play the note and hold it down. The next note is G, it's played by my little finger. When I'm certain to play it right, I play the G and release the C. Next is E. My hand is in the five finger position, so I'll play it with my middle finger. There's the F. Don't rush. Prepare each note. Take as long as you need to be certain you'll play it correctly. Good. Now I'll repeat that, still applying no before you go to make sure there are no mistakes. There's that middle C. There's the G. Take as long as you need to prepare each note. Going a little faster now. There's that G again. And the C. Repeat it as many times as you need until you can play the pitches easily and accurately. You'll find you can speed up a little with each repetition, but don't rush and make a mistake. Good, I can play that easily now, so I'll go on to the next step. The second step is time. We will ignore the pitches and focus only on the timing. Start by counting and pointing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That was easy, so I'll go on to the next step of counting and playing middle C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In this step I'm ignoring the pitches and just playing middle C. Repeat it if you need to until it's easy. That was easy, so we'll go on to the third step. The final step is music, where pitch and time come together. Take it very slowly at first. Find a speed slow enough that you can play the correct pitches with the correct timing. If you feel uncertain about a move, don't rush and make a mistake. Instead, realize that you picked too fast a speed. Go back to the beginning and start again at a slower speed. I'm going to show you that now. I'm going to start too fast. One, two, three, four. I realize I'm not sure about the next note at that speed. Instead of going on and playing a mistake, I'm going to go back to the beginning and start much more slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. At that slow speed, I was able to play accurately. Accurate pitches and accurate timing. Now repeat as often as you need until you can do that easily and accurately. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can allow your speed to increase as you repeat, but don't rush and make a mistake. If you didn't do this exercise along with me, pause the video now and do the exercise for yourself. Make sure you do all three steps. First pitch, then time, and then the music. Repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Rewind the video if you want to see the exercise again. Exercise 2. This one's a little challenging. The pitch goes up to a higher note there, and there's interesting timing with a half note followed by some quarter notes. Step 1 is the pitch. I'll apply no before you go. I'm going to start with my thumb on middle C. When I'm certain I'll do it right, I play the note and hold it down. 
Now it's a G with my fourth finger. I have to reach up a little for that. And then E there with my second finger. And my thumb. And my little finger is just in the right position now for playing that A. Good. Now I'll repeat it again. Take as long as you need to prepare each note. Repeat that until it's easy and then go on to step two. Step two is the time. I'll start by counting and pointing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I count and play middle C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Finally, the music, where the pitch and time come together. Pick a speed slow enough so you can play accurate pitches with accurate timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat as needed until it's easy and accurate. Let me do it once more. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, you can repeat it as many times as you need until it really seems easy and accurate. You can pause the video now and do this exercise for yourself. Make sure you repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Exercise 3. This one has some interesting timing, with a half note in between two quarter notes, and then a rest, and another half note. I'm going to start with the pitch. I'm going to start playing middle C with my thumb. That puts my hand in a five finger position, so I know which finger to use for each of the other notes. I ignore the rest for now because we're just doing the pitches. Let's do that again. That was easy. On to step two, the time. Count and point. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Count and play middle C. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. As always, repeat until it seems easy. The third step is the music. Pick a slow speed so you can play accurate pitches with accurate time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Repeat it until it's easy and accurate. You can pause the video now and do this exercise for yourself. Make sure you repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Exercise 4. Wow, things are really heating up now. The pitches are jumping all over the place and there's some interesting looking timing as well. First step is pitch. Even though the pitches are tricky, I'm going to play without mistakes by applying no before you go. First I have to find that upper G with my little finger. There it is. I'm certain I'll do it right. So I play that and hold it down. Then I have to reach down a little with my fourth finger to play the E. I ignore the rest. And there's the A. I'll play with my thumb. Take all the time you need so you play it without mistakes. Repeat that until it's easy and accurate. Step two, time. One, two, three, four. 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 And finally, step three, the music. Take it very slowly. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You may have to start even more slowly than that, and then repeat it until it seems easy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You may want to repeat this a number of times. You can pause the video now and do this exercise for yourself. Make sure you repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Exercise 5. Here's the first one in 3-4 time. Step 1 is the pitch. Know before you go. Now where's that top G with my little finger? There it is. I'm certain I'll get it right. I play and hold it down. This time I'm playing the E with my middle finger. And then the C. Ignore the rest. And then I have to move my fourth finger down to play the C. Let's do that one again. There's some tricky moving around here. There's that top G, little finger, my middle finger on the E, and then I reach down a little with my index finger. There's the G. Now I have to bring my fourth finger all the way down there to find the C. There it is. Repeat that as many times as you need until it really is easy. It should end up looking like this. Now on to step two, timing. One, two, three. 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 Repeat as needed until that's easy. Then finally, the music. Take it really slowly. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can pause the video now and do this exercise for yourself. Make sure you repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Exercise 6. Goodness me, this one jumps all over the place. Starts away down there, goes up here and jumps back down. I put this one in so you can really test your application of know before you go. Here it is. Step 1 the pitch, know before you go. I start off with my thumb on middle C. There it is. Got it. Now I have to find that E with my little finger. As soon as I know I'll get it right, then I can play it. Now I have to reach down for the D with my thumb. There it is. Got that. No rush. All the time you need. There's the F. Now I have to bring my thumb up to play that B. There it is. And I'll reach up for the G with my little finger. And then I'm going to play the C with my thumb as well. There it is. Even though it's a difficult tune, I played it correctly, no mistakes, by applying No Before You Go. All right, let's do that one again. There's the C, now I reach up for the E. It's easier this time. Good. Don't rush and make any mistakes. There's that B, and there's the G. Good. Repeat it as many times as you need to until you can play that easily. Step two is the timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The timing's easy in this one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 
four. And finally, the music. Take it really slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat as many times as you need until you can play it easily. You can pause the video now and do this exercise for yourself. Make sure you repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Exercise 7. In this one you get to practice the thumb under technique. Step 1, a pitch. Start with my thumb on the G. Now my thumb goes under to find the C. There it is, play the C. Then I move my hand up to a new five finger position. Reach down with my thumb to find the G. Take it really slowly at first. Repeat as many times as you need to until it's easy. Step two, the timing. One, two, three. 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 Easy timing on this one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And now, step three, the music. Take it really slowly so you can do that thumb under. One, two, three, one, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can pause the video now and do the exercise for yourself. Make sure you repeat each step until it really is easy and accurate. Exercise eight. This is the last exercise and then you'll get to play some tunes. In this one, the pitches are going down so you'll be using a finger over. Step one, the pitches. Here's the finger over to find the B. And reach down to find that E. Repeat that as many times as you need until you can do it easily. Finger over and thumb under are very important techniques in piano playing. It's worth spending a little time on them. Step two is the timing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And finally, step three, the music. Take it very slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can pause the video now and do this exercise for yourself. Make sure you really do repeat each step until it is easy and accurate. If you need some more practice at this, you can watch the video again and do the exercises along with me. You can use this approach anytime you're learning new music, especially if the music is a bit challenging. Use it as you play the tunes in the final lessons of Book 1.